but I didn't even know that these were here. Bang. I'm known to be away with the fairies. Before we do anything, we are in rainy Reading on an industrial estate at that. So we're here to see Chris at Rogue Alloys because he is going to sort us out our tyre problem. We've got a wear issue on one of the rear. He knows his stuff. That makes sense. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 anyway, we're at Rogue Alloys and they know their stuff is basically what I'm trying to you say. You men and your wheels. <laughs> like, I'm surprised people won't switch off after that. <laughs> Look, we all like big wheels, chunky tyres. There you go. Boys will be boys. <laughs> bit of an urban park up last night, wasn't it? Just a bit. I think it's <laughs> 7 o'clock this morning and it's like, freaking hell, it's noisy here. Yeah. Well, we're on the edge of a park. Welcome from the Downs in Bristol this morning. Not only is it the edge of a city, so the, the road traffic noise uh, picks up, but you've got the runners. There's enough joggers. God, they're all into jogging. It's oh, January, I haven't it? seen you yet. Now, of course, you're still in bed. Anyway, <laughs> if you're up, you'll notice that there are joggers everywhere. Dog walkers, joggers, and commuters. But quiet during the night. I think after about 11.30 through till 7, 7.30, not really a bother. If I show you where we are, there must have been no less than 40, 50 vans here. So it's a, a great little park up. Well, there's nothing little about it. It's just a great park up. But it is on the edge of a city centre. So bear in mind, it is not the quietest. And this was kind of like a last minute impromptu halfway marker stopover because we are on our way to the Mendip Hills. Here's a top tip for you. If you do what we did last night, we ended up having a curry. So the van, absolutely pen and inks of curry. This is called Paolo Santo, and it smells amazing. And just burn it. Give it a little blow, and then just allow that beautiful scent to waft throughout your entire van. Also very good for clearing any stagnant energy, any unwanted energy, clears the space. It smells beautiful. Sacred shamanic traditions use Palo Santo to cleanse the body after you've done a big healing or before to cleanse. Get out of here. Starting route to Chewbacca. Moving on. Where are we yeah. going? Bit of a pit stop. Look, he's already there. <laughs> you found me. But it is January and we are on a diet. So how many do you want? Four? Four. Four, just in case. And some croissants. One for today and one for tomorrow. <laughs> or two for today if you like me. Oh no, you're just greedy. Croissants for breakfast? Yeah. I really like the apple turnover as yeah, well. Yeah, you do, don't doesn't you? It doesn't really have enough of a dusting of sugar on top, but... <laughs> Let me show you something. Look, if you look at the bakery, pastries, apple turnover. Look how good that one looks. Glaze of sugar over the top. They don't come like that. Anyway, just Just saying. <laughs> just saying, little. Sort them out. But we love your brownies. Look at the reality. It's like Instagram versus reality. It's like little picture versus reality. Tastes beautiful, but where's the sugary glaze? 
So last night I, I just um, did my research in bed and I was looking for some nice country walks and this place come up and then I saw the stone circles and I was like, baby, <gasps> that's a bit of us. So yeah, that's what we're going to check out today. Well, you're coming with us, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whether you like it or not. Whether you like, like it or not. You don't like it, pull it. Yeah, up. right, in the comments. <laughs> Stone circles. Now this is a bit of an oddity. One pound admission. What? To see some stones. To walk up to the edge of a field. And how can it be closed on Christmas Day? It's a field. We've driven out from city oh. up a hill and then suddenly we're in the hills. We've got stone circles and nature. It's very windy. It's very windy. It is so windy, I nearly got blown over. And we couldn't fly the drone. And we couldn't fly the drone. <laughs> but we're probably the only ones that will come here all day. <laughs> all week. And again, like I said, I didn't even know that these were here. So try the limestone Mendip Hill. It's our recommendation. Right, let's go yeah. a little further look around. Oh my god, we are giving up on that. That is ridiculous. Honestly, there's wind and then there's this wind. Well, the lake looks like the ocean. They've got waves. waves. It's got waves. Right, lunch? Lunch. We're making bread. We are. Well, not really. We're warming part baked bread. Still, <laughs> we're making it. Lindsay's all ratty at the moment. <laughs> if you ever live in a van <laughs> with a ratty missus, oh, I feel for you. <laughs> it's that time of the month when I got the ump. <laughs> I'm only human. Can't be an angel all the time. Some of the time would help. <laughs> it's nice and warm as well. Look at that. Perfectly baked bread. Yeah. Do you want a brownie? Oh, I'd love a brownie. There you go. Thanks, sweetheart. Chew Valley Lake has got a few of these park ups at um, around. Now this looks ideal. I'll show you. It's a really super wide lay-by, away from the main road, mm. right onto the lake. Look at the little ducklings. Yeah, this is nice. Good morning. We are off to Wookie Hole. I can't believe it. We've come to Wookie Hole, all excited. And I'm going to show you. We are closed for a private function the 14th and 15th of January. So we've come all this way. Our videos are jinxed at the moment. Aren't yeah. They? Well, let's go to the prison, shall we? We found yeah. something else we yeah, want to yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We found a prison. We're going to go and sit on a ghost hunt in the prison. We've actually got a ghost app and everything. I'm so excited. It's around here somewhere. So these are the prison walls if you did want to escape back in the day. Let's go and see a prison, shall we? Oh, so this is when you're visiting. Yeah. How are you? Not good. How are you keeping? Miss ya. Miss you too. So by all accounts, this is a 400 year old prison. When did they say it was decommissioned? 2013. So not that long ago no. when you think about it, 10 years ago. Yeah. Well, and this was for real bad boys, wasn't it? Yeah, like sex offenders, Oh, murderers, murderers and pedos. Executions. This is kind of madness. So this is the firing squad wall. Just looking for bullet holes. Is that one? They, are they two there? Yeah, what's this? It's a flat bullet. And then they had to stop executing people here because people in the village um, were complaining about the... The noise. Shut up! Onwards. 
Apparently during World War II, this was also the military prison, was yeah, it not? Yeah. So there were some American prisoners. Got executed, didn't they? Whatever crimes they committed, they would be subject to our British laws as well as the American laws, which sometimes meant that they were executed yeah. for their crimes. So grim back in the day, like, oh. This is the hard labour yard. What do you know about hard labour, Linz? I don't. <laughs> you do it all. <laughs> oh, let's have a little look. Stone breaking. Stone breaking was carried out by male governors, including young boys. I ate the governor. Their task was to break down large stones from the local quarries. The treadmill house at Shatton Light Prison had one of the largest treadmills in the country. It was so big that it took 40 prisoners stood side by side to turn it. Prisoners would be set to walk up a never ending staircase to turn the wheel. So, would this be the infirmary? We were just reading on the wall about the fact that they would carry out a number of amputations in here because, of course, injuries happen in the workplace. If that was the case back in the day, they'd just come in, saw your limbs off, and then what was the mortality rate? So like Forty-six percent die. Would die anyway, but Ooh. there's your uh, your limbs is. Ooh. <laughs> Frank, Ooh. Oh, look. oh my God, what's that? Is that where someone did meet their uh, their end. There's something there. The bathhouse, this is where not to drop the soap. Yeah, definitely not. Security office. I found where they are displaying, even if just replicas, but these are the type of weapons prisoners would manufacture themselves. In 2017, during some investigation works within the prison, three original holding cells were uncovered by our team. The three cells date back to when the prison was first opened in 1625 and are approximately five foot by two and a half foot each, with only a small set of steel bars separating them. Really grim. The governor's office. All right, governor. I bet this is nice compared to the other shy holes. Yeah, it goes in as well. He's even got his uh, decks <laughs> <laughs> for his records. And this is the exercise yard, apparently. Well, oh, this is quite nice out here. Feels well, not nice, better. but you know. Beautiful. Well, at least there's some plants for him to look at. So although this is a male prison, predominantly, it has a history of some women been involved as well in the A-wing. So I guess this is a typical cell. Toilet, bed, wash basin, and a bit of natural light. These beds don't look that comfy though. I was definitely a suffragette in a past life, so fighting for your freedom. They would come in and do hunger strikes, because obviously they were just fighting for freedom and their rights. They would force feed them through either up their nostril it or through like their mouth. That. Yeah, exactly. It's disgusting, man. Now this part, it looks as if this was where the American naughty boys were kept in the war times. What did you do, fella? So yeah, these ones look more solitary. Solitary, definitely, because they've got the... Yeah, that's much smaller. And there's no frills in these rooms. Oh, fancy seeing you in here, babe. Lisa, can I have some more? 
No. So that's the deputy governor. He's living hard, isn't he, this fella? This is their seance room. Got a Ouija board. Is there a lot? Ooh. A few entity. Oh my god, yeah. Go that way again. There's lots of activity in here. was the science room. <laughs> the execution room you are now stood in is actually the second execution room to be used at Chateau Malik Prison. Next to the execution room, you can see a mock-up of the condemned man's cell. The condemned man never knew that this room was right next to the execution room. On the morning of the execution, the officers would move a bookshelf and reveal a secret door which led into the execution room. Once a condemned man had been executed and pronounced dead, his body was brought to this room, the morgue. I'm innocent, I promise. <laughs> right. I am. I this is B-Wing. So for some reason, I was drawn to this cell and when I walked in, I noticed all of this on the walls. Weird writing. It's probably in poo, wouldn't touch it. Oh <laughs> Did you smell your fingers? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is this where you'd make your phone call? I'll tell phone you home. what, I've had enough of this place. Twins. They were here at this prison. Booking in and strip search, Lindsay. Ooh. <laughs> Don't like the idea of a finger up the bum bit. Much. We have had the most fun in there. Yeah, we? honestly. And we ended up speaking to one of the um, prison wardens who used to work not at this specific prison, but he worked in prisons. And um, yeah, and he was just telling us some stories about- Oh, it's amazing. It was lucky that Wookie Hell was closed because we've ended up spending the best part of a whole day here and it's been amazing. Yeah. So yeah, if you're gonna come here, do give yourself at least what, three hours? At least, yeah. yeah. And if you want, there you can spend plenty more time. And well. you've got the option of going around yourself, so a self-guided tour, or you could have a guided tour, so it's up to you. We yeah. did the self-guided. Um, however, I think I would like to come back and do a guided yeah. one. Yeah, because bumping into the prison guard at the end, it did make for yeah. some interesting uh, stories, didn't yeah. it? Yeah. So, yeah, an absolute And also, just to let you know, when I went online, it said no dogs. However, you can take dogs in if you're just doing the self-guided tour. It's yeah. only on the guided tour you can't have pets. So, if, again, if you've got animals and you want to bring them, then just take yourself bring around. Bring the yeah. them up. So after a few days of remaining reasonably static and hanging out at uh, Stonehenge, and that's always lovely, got a bit of work done, and even the sun made an appearance, which has brightened up everything. I have to say, even today, I'm pretty confident we're drawing in solar power. And talking of good things, thank you again for watching. Please do give this video a like if you've enjoyed it, and of course, consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thank you for that. And don't forget Instagram. Give us a follow there if you haven't already. I'll leave that link here below, and we'll see you again next time. See you for now.